Hello guys, it's me Jay from the AND Studio and in this video, we'll be doing a specs comparison of two flagships, the Panasonic Eluga X1 Pro and the Poco F1. Let's begin. Starting with the camera, in Eluga X1, we get a 16 megapixel plus 5 megapixel dual camera setup, where the 5 megapixel is the depth sensor. In POCO F1, we get a 12 megapixel plus 5 megapixel dual camera setup where the 5 megapixel is a depth sensor. Yes, megapixel count does not mean better quality, but still, Eliga X1 gets a star for greater megapixel. Both have LED flash, but in POCO F1, it is dual LED flash. In terms of video recording, Eluga X1 can take video only up to full HD, while POCO F1 can take video up to 4K at 30 FPS. Hence, the F1 gets a star. Both phones support portrait mode also. Camera in X1 Pro is supported by AI and hence we get face emojis. This feature gets balanced by the manual mode option in POCO F1 so no one gets my star. Coming to the front camera, Eluga X1 have only 16 megapixel camera and can only record up to 720p video. While POCO F1 have a 20 megapixel camera with full HD recording. So F1 gets the star. We get the better stabilization option in POCO F1 in both front camera and back cameras, that's EIS, but no stabilization option in Eluga X1, and hence the star for POCO F1. Both phones record slow motion also. That's all about camera and the winner is POCO F1. Now talking about the battery and charging, Eluga X1 comes with a 3000mAh lithium ion battery and POCO F1 comes with 4000mAh lithium polymer battery so clearly f1 gets a star also poco f1 supports qualcomm quick charge 3.0 where in eluga x1 it's just normal 10 watt charging so a star for f1 both have usb type c port and supports otg surprisingly eluga x1 pro comes with wireless charging and a free wireless charger in the box which is not at all supported by poco f1 so a star for the eluga x1 pro now coming to the display, Eluga X1 and X1 Pro have a 2.5D curved 6.18 inch IPS LCD Full HD Plus display with 18 is to 9 aspect ratio, which is same as in POCO F1. The pixel density is also same, 403 ppi. In terms of display protection, both comes with Gorilla Glass protection, Gorilla Glass 3 in Eluga X1 and an unspecified version of Gorilla Glass in POCO F1. Any protection is good protection. So both phones have the notch design and have the same display specifications. Now coming to the software, both phones comes with Android 8.1 Ori out of the box and with the latest security patch according to their releasing date. Both phones have their own custom skin over Androids, MIUI 9.6 on POCO F1 and Panasonic skin on Eluga X1. Regarding updates. Poco F1 will surely receive major Android updates while Panasonic may not send any OTA updates as their history says so. So Poco F1 gets a star here. Now to the hardware section. Eluga X1 comes with the MediaTek Helio P60 12 nanometer processor where Poco F1 comes with Snapdragon 845 10 nanometer processor and with liquid cooling technology. Although Helio P60 is very powerful, it's clearly Poco F1 wins the race. So, a star for POCO F1. Both are octa-core processor where in Eluga X1 having 4 into 2 GHz Cortex-A73 and 4 into 2 GHz Cortex-A53 chipset. And POCO F1 having 4 into 2.8 GHz Cryo-385 Gold and 4 into 1.8 GHz Cryo-385 Silver chipset. GPU in Eluga X1 Pro is Mali G72. 72 and in POCO F1 it's Adreno 630 so POCO F1 clearly wins the race. Now about memory. Eluga X1 comes with two variant 4GB RAM 64GB ROM model and a 6GB RAM 128GB ROM model. Both supports SD card up to 256GB. Coming to the POCO F1 it comes with three variant a 6GB 64GB model, a 6GB 128GB model and 8GB 256GB model and also supports SD card up to 256GB. So here clearly POCO F1 gets a star. Now talking about the connectivity. Both phones comes with a hybrid SIM tray. With SIM 2 can be used as 
एस डी कार्ड स्लॉट बोथ फोन सपोर्ट फोर जी वो एल टी एलुगा एक्सोन प्रो डस नॉट हाव थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एम एम जैक बट कम्स विथ एन अडाप्टर इन द बॉक्स वेयर पोको एफ एन हाव अ थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एम एम जैक येस पोको एफ एन गेट्स ए स्टार एस ऑलरेडी सेट बोथ हाव यू एस बी टाइप सी एंड सपोर्ट्स ओ टी जी बोथ डस नॉट हाव अयर ब्लास्टेस नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट द बिल्ड क्वालिटी एलुगा एक्सोन कम्स विथ ए स्टेनलेस स्टील बॉडी विथ ग्लोसी फिनिश वाइल पोको एफ एन इज मेड ऑफ प्लास्टिक बैक सो एलुगा एक्सोन प्रो गेट्स द स्टार The side rims of Poco F1 is made of metal. Both have Gorilla Glass protection, so build quality wise, Eluga X1 Pro has done a good job. Now coming to the other features, fingerprint sensor is fast in both phones on the back side. Both phones have IR face unlocking, which is AI supported. Both phones have AI CPU and AI cameras. But Panasonic Eluga X1 Pro supports Dolby Atmos, which is not present in Poco F1. Hence, Luga X1 gets a star. But in Poco F1, earpiece works as a speaker also. Both have all needed sensors: accelerometer, gyro, proximity, light sensors, etc. Luga X1 Pro is 198 gram in weight, while Poco F1 is just 180 gram in weight. Now, the most important thing: the price. Luga X1 is priced at 23,000. Where it is a 4 GB, 64 GB variant, and X1 Pro is priced at 27,000. Where it is a 6 GB, 128 GB variant, where plus wireless charging. Now coming to the Poco F1. Poco F1 have a three variant, a 6 GB, 64 GB variant, which is priced at just 21,000, and a 6 GB, 128 GB variant, which is priced at 24,000, and 8 GB, 256 GB, which is just priced at 29,000. So, if we pay two thousand rupees more over the Eluga X1 Pro, we get the top variant of Poco F1. So clearly, Poco F1 gets a star and wins the battle of flagship with ten stars, and Panasonic Eluga X1 Pro with four stars in the second place. So that was a huge comparison, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and please do subscribe and support us.